Hi, today we're going to do a problem about similar matrices. The problem is right here. So the question asks which of the following statements are true, and it asks you to explain why. The first statement is if A and B are similar matrices, then 2A cubed plus A minus 3 times the identity is similar to 2 times B cubed plus B minus 3 times the identity. The second question asks, if A and B are 3 by 3 matrices with eigenvalues 1, 0, and negative 1, then they're similar. And the third part asks you whether these two J matrices are similar. OK, I'll give you a moment to hit pause and try it on your own. I'll be back in just a moment, and we can do it together. OK, and we're back. Let's start with part A. Part A is true. Why? Well, what does it mean for A and B to be similar? Right? We know there's some matrix M such that, that's what ST means, when I multiply M on the left, or A on the left by M, and the right by M inverse, I get B. OK? So let's take that same matrix M and multiply it, and multiply it on the left and the right of 2A cubed plus A minus 3 times the identity. OK? What do we get here? Well, the point is what m times a cubed times m inverse, we can just write that as 3 m a m inverses. Uh, similarly, we have an m a m inverse and an m times the identity times m inverse. Good. And so re remember that m times a times m inverse is b. So we just get 2b cubed, right, 3b's, plus b minus, well, m times the identity is just m. So we just get the identity back. And we have 3 times the identity. Good. And this is sort of a general remark that if you have matrices a and b that are similar, then any polynomials in these matrices a and B will be similar. It's uh, the exact same justification. OK. Now let's go on to part B. OK, so now A and B are 3 by 3 similar matrices with the same eigenvalues. And their eigenvalues are distinct. So it turns out that B is true as well. OK. And well, why is that? Well, a matrix with distinct eigenvalues is diagonalizable. So we can write A as S lambda S inverse, where um, lambda is just this eigenvalue matrix. Okay. We can also write B as T lambda T inverse, where lambda is the same in both cases because they have the same eigenvalues. Good. Now I'll let you, you uh, so before we check it, let's just say the point. The point is if two matrices are similar to the same matrix, then they're similar to each other. Uh, similarity is a transitive relation. And I'll just let you, you uh, check that you can. Um, Take TS inverse A times TS inverse inverse, and you'll get B. Good. This, this follows directly from just these two relations. Good. Now let's take on part C. So part C is false. Let's come back over here and look at these two matrices, J1 and J2. 
Well, the first thing you should see is that these two are Jordan blocks. And they're different, or they're, sorry, not Jordan blocks. They're uh, matrices in Jordan normal form. And they're different matrices in Jordan normal form. So they will not be similar. But, but let's actually see why. OK, so let's look at, remember, one of the things that similarity preserves are eigenvectors and eigenvalues. So let's look at um, the eigenspace with eigenvalue minus 1 with these two matrices. So um, J1 plus the identity, let's, let's look at the null space of this matrix. So this is um, just 0 just zeros on the diagonal and ones right above the diagonal. And j2 plus the identity, well, this is just 0, 1, 0, 0. Good. So the point is that the null space of this, um, of this matrix is just one dimensional. So there's only one independent eigenvector of j1 with eigenvalue minus 1 whereas the null space of this matrix is two-dimensional. Um, the, um, there are two independent eigenvectors with eigenvalue minus 1. So the dimension of the null space of J1 plus the identity, this is uh, 1, and this is 2, so they cannot possibly be Similar. Good. Good. So that completes the problem. It's a nice exercise to do this more generally. And you can use these techniques, not just looking at the, um, the number of independent eigenvectors and the null space of your J matrix, uh, your J minus lambda i matrix, but also powers of J minus lambda i and their null spaces. You can use this to show that any two uh, matrices in Jordan normal form that are different are not sim similar. The same method works. And that's a nice exercise if you want to go a little further with similar matrices. Anyway, let's, let's just recap the properties we, we saw here. We saw that if we had two similar matrices, then any polynomials in those matrices were similar. And uh, we saw that if we have two matrices that have the same distinct eigenvalues, then they're, sim then they're similar. And we saw that um, in a special case, we saw that two matrices in Jordan normal form that are different are not similar. Thanks.